you know, you, you change your perspective uh, or change what's going on. I, I don't think you should change your goals. Uh, she should be adding on to what it is that, uh, that you have going on, you know? So, uh, and I, I think Iman Sh- Sh- Shumpert, uh, he also had his wife in the booth with him at the time. Uh, so, I mean, they, they're a little bit different uh, if you've ever followed them than, than most people. Uh, so for me, I would say focus on your purpose uh, a part of your purpose should be uh, getting married. In every other culture, <clears throat> uh, they they want the the guys to be married before they're thirty. And as you can see, uh, in, in other cultures, uh, those men that are uh, married before they're thirty, uh, they tend to do uh, a lot better than, than than us. So I rest there. Iman Shepard uh, was on the Breakfast Club and he said, all men are supposed to explore life and do what they desire until a woman comes into a man's life and changes his desires and perceptions. So I'm going to go ahead and play this clip. Oh, we good. But you it know, is a stereotype that all ball players cheat, though. For sure, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. For sure, though. But that's what I'm saying. But what, what the world has to understand is all men, we supposed to go do whatever we supposed to do until a woman comes and changes that. That's a fact. Like, stop mm-hmm. stop the acting like girls want a dude that never got a girl. That too. Nobody wants... Nobody wants... Ain't one of you feel me? You feel what I'm saying? Nobody... <laughs> no female wants the I'm, dude... You don't get no hoes, my nigga. Right. <laughs> you don't get no bitches. I'm out. I'm out. You see what I'm saying? But it's like, what woman wants a dude that can walk in the party and nobody say nothing? Right. You don't want him. You want the dude that everybody's falling over, taking pictures, doing who out the bam, and nobody really know what's going on. It's a million story. Ooh, is he this? Is he that? And you know the real. So that- I know you're putting the back chat to the video. It's, from, it's supposed to be like that, man. Breakfast Club be real funny with flag and stuff. So I had to use a steel and uh, speed up the audio. But yeah, Iman Shepard was saying that all men are supposed to explore life. And do whatever they desire until that right magical woman comes along. And then that woman is the woman that's going to change his desires and perception on life. Do you guys agree? What are your thoughts about it? He also mentioned something about uh, no woman wants a man that a lot of other women don't, uh, that a lot of other women desire. So basically she wants the man that most women desire as well. So let's go ahead and uh, break that down. What are you guys thoughts? True statement. I'm going to go ahead and go to Sir Hill first. What are your thoughts, sir? It is definitely true. I think uh, what he said was absolute pure facts. Um, Even if women don't want to admit this fact, because we have a culture where you have to be good and good. I don't want nobody that nobody else wants. I want it all to myself. Women have female nature and women want something that somebody else has because to them, that's a, a qualifier. It shows that he's attractive. Other women want him and it helps to qualify that man in her eyes. So that's absolutely uh, a fact. But I think the more interesting point is that he said that men should be out doing whatever they're doing in life and that they shouldn't be focused on settling down until a woman uh, makes him want to until, until she changes his perception. And I think that that's a really big fact because so many men are culture the opposite. Like we we go into life looking for the woman. And we orient our entire life for that. And so consequently, most men go after women even before they understand what their purpose is, what they want out of life, what their uh, what their skills and talents are. And I think that that adds perspective on how men should go about it. So really appreciate what he says. The, the part about the women, I think that's a known fact. But I think the more intelligent part is that men should be going after something in life and a woman should be. Um, uh, her intention should be to change his perception if she wants a long-term relationship. I agree with that part. All right. So what if he did find his purpose early, then should he still be doing what he desires until a woman comes along or should he be actually looking for a woman to marry? Yeah, in that case, then if he knows his purpose, then it's going to be very easy for him to filter through the, the, the crap and know what kind of woman he's looking for. So, yeah, so if he if he's cultured for for his purpose and he knows it's going to be easier. If a man is just figuring stuff out, he does need to figure out life a bit so that he knows what he needs in life. And he doesn't waste uh, too much time. OK, all right. I'm with that, man. I like that shirt, brother. What are your thoughts about it? All men are supposed to explore life and do what they desire until that woman comes in to that man's life and changes his perception and desires. 
I well, appreciate the compliment. And I don't know if this is a sen sentence or a paragraph, but I'm answering anyway, right? <laughs> um, I, I would say that guys always need to have a vision. They need to have a plan. And a part of that plan needs to include a time frame in which they want to be married. Because as we know, and the information has already been shown, that a man that's married reaches his goals a lot faster uh, than a guy that's single. <clears throat> Uh, as it, as it relates to um, the, I think the, the statement that he made about um, you know you, you change your perspective uh, or change what's going on. I, I don't think you should change your goals. Uh, she should be adding on to what it is that uh, that you have going on. You know. So uh, and I, I think Iman Sh Sh Shumper, uh he also had his wife in the booth with him at the time. Uh, so, I mean, they, they're a little bit different, uh, if you've ever followed them than, than most people. Uh, so for me, I would say focus on your purpose. Uh, a part of your purpose should be, uh, getting married in every other culture. <clears throat> uh, they, they want the, the guys to be married before they're 30. And as you can see, uh, in, in other cultures, uh, those men that are uh, married before they're 30, uh, they tend to do uh, a lot better than, than than us. So I'll rest there. All right. I'm going to go to Sean Antonio. What are your thoughts, sir? All men are supposed to explore life and do what they desire into that magical woman come down and sprinkle her seasoning on them. Yeah, absolutely. I think you should do that uh, as it relates to dating, um, as it relates to, uh, you know, chasing your accomplishments and your goals and building, you know, of course, before you meet a woman. I really do think, too, um, I think a lot of times we meet women in the wrong way. Um, over the years, what I, what I began to like or what I began to, to tell my young boys, like when I got back to Chicago, I became a member of the Urban League. And, you know, they have the Metro Board, which is for the young professionals. And as we know about the Urban League, you know, most cities have, you know, the sect that's for the young professionals. And when you are part of things like that, you really are networking around people and you get to see them in a different way. You get to see them in a low pressure situation where you can now build a rapport. You can vet them and you don't have to go out, and try to meet women in the club. So I would say get in the right circles, work towards your goals and try to meet women along the way or men or women along the way. Um, you know, whatever you want to do. But, yeah, I would say that I totally agree with him. Um, the other thing. Absolutely. It's been my experience that women want the, 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 the guy that other women want. So, you know, you got to have some motion out here. You ain't got to be the most handsome guy. You do have to present well. You have to have a good personality. But they do want the guy that seem to, you know, to have something that other women uh, desire. Yeah, it's facts, facts. I'm going to go to Clout and then Sean. Big Clout, what are your thoughts about it, sir? Um, all right, I agree with most of it. The part that I disagree with is this idea that you should change your goals when a certain woman comes around. Um, I think that I actually agree with what Humble Dad was saying, which is um, if marriage is a part of your goals, then she shouldn't be changing your goals. She should more so be adding to it. She should be aligned with your goals. So I think that by following and pursuing your goals, first, it will reveal the woman who will be most likely be an asset to what it is you're trying to achieve. And I feel like that's the best route to go about it. But I don't think that that woman should change your goals or inspire you to be different. I feel as though she should reinforce what it is that you're trying to do already. 